Hi everyone, I'm Kelly with the SuburbanSoapbox.com and today we are making a five ingredient mac and cheese. This mac and cheese is made in just 10 minutes on your stovetop. Kids love this. It's simple, easy, and the ingredients are readily available at your grocery store. To start your mac and cheese, you're going to need to cook your pasta first. So I'm going to put this in a pot of boiling water that's heavily salted. You wanna salt your water before you cook the pasta so that the salt flavors the pasta while it's cooking. This is your only opportunity to get flavor into the pasta. So while the pasta's cooking, you're going to start your cheese sauce and we're going to add the butter to the pot. Quarter cup of butter into the pot and you wanna melt it completely before you add anything else. Okay, so now that your butter is almost completely melted, we're going to whisk in the flour. And it's a quarter cup of flour. And you wanna whisk that in completely, letting it cook a little bit to cook out that flour flavor. And you're just gonna let that cook for a couple minutes until you start to smell like a nutty flavor or nutty scent. Um, that just lets you know that the flour is cooked and it's no longer gonna taste like paste. If you were to eat this right now, it wouldn't really wouldn't taste that good. Okay, so now we're going to add the milk. So we're gonna add two and a half cups of milk and slowly whisk that in. And you're gonna pour all the milk in and keep whisking until everything is incorporated. And now you're gonna let that heat through, especially if you used milk straight from the refrigerator. If your milk is cold, uh, it's gonna take a little longer for it to thicken up and come to temperature. If you had left it sitting out for a little bit to be at room temperature, it's not gonna take as long. So just keep your eye on it and don't let it come to a boil. So if you haven't done it already, you're going to wanna grate your cheese. And I like to use a block cheese. If you wanna use regular store-bought shredded cheddar, that's fine as well. Um, I just like the freshness of grated cheddar cheese myself. And I like to put a lot of cheddar cheese in here. You can definitely cut back on the cheese if you like, but anywhere from two to two and a half cups is pretty good. So you can see now that the milk mixture is hot, it's steaming, there's a little bit of bubbling around the edge, and you're going to add your cheese to the milk to make your cheese sauce now. And if your sauce seems a little on the thin side, it will thicken up. When you Once you add your pasta to this mixture, the starch from the pasta is also gonna thicken up the sauce. So you're going to mix your cheese sauce until all of the cheese is melted. Okay, so now we're going to check the pasta to make sure it's done. I'm going to take it to the sink and drain it, and then we're going to transfer it to the cheese sauce. I use a very scientific method to checking my pasta. I pull a piece out and pop it in my mouth. It's done. So you wanna make sure you don't overcook your pasta. You wanna cook it just to al dente, where it still has a little bit of a bite to it so that it can actually soak up some of the flavor from the cheese sauce as well. Okay, now we're going to pour the pasta into the sauce into my tiny pot and hope that it all fits. There we go. Everybody into the pot. And now we're going to fold the pasta into the cream sauce. And again, if it looks a little loose to you, it'll thicken up. The starch from the pasta is just going to make everything thick and creamy and amazing. But you can totally see that it's like getting thick and creamy and amazing. And at the end, we're going to finish it off with some salt and pepper. And now we're ready to eat. So just serve up your mac and cheese straight from the bowl. Or if you baked it, it's always a nice presentation with the baking dish. Pile it as high as you can. And I even like to top it off with a little more sprinkled cheddar 
bit of parsley for color. It's time to dig in. Hmm. Cheesy and creamy and amazing with perfectly cooked pasta. This really is one of the best mac and cheeses you'll ever make. Thank you so much again for watching. If you like this video, please be sure to give me a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. And if you want more great recipes, be sure to check out the suburbansoapbox.com. I have a ton of easy dinner recipes that the kids will love. Thank you again.